Hey, hey, here we are, Monday morning, prayer school. What is prayer school? Well, prayer school is part of our online Bible school. And in our online Bible school, we teach people how to pray. Huh? How many of you know that most people don't know how to pray? Most people don't expect to get their prayers answered when they pray. Amen? They don't. But we do. I expect to get every prayer answered. I want to ask, uh, ask a question today, or an actually I'm going to answer a question for you today. Does God answer all prayers? Does he? Well, let me ask you a question. Have you ever prayed about something and not gotten an answer? Huh? Have you ever prayed about something and not gotten an answer? If you have, then I guess we can answer that question pretty easy, can't we? No, God does not answer all prayers. Now we have to ask ourselves, why? Why? Why God doesn't answer prayers all the time, huh? Well, the truth of the matter is, God doesn't answer all prayers because most of the time, People don't expect to get an answer. Here's the rule of thumb. The rule of thumb is this. If you expect God to answer your prayer, he will. If you don't, he won't. Let me say that again. The rule when it comes to praying is the rule of thumb. If you expect God to answer your prayer, he will. Every single last solitary time, he will. But if you don't expect him to, he won't. Now, we have to ask ourselves, see, faith is the substance of things expected. That word hoped in, in uh, Hebrews 11, 1, it says now faith is the substance of things hoped for. That's the King James Version. But the, the Greek word that is translated hope in there actually means expectation. It means expect. Now faith is a substance the word substance means assurance. Faith is the assurance of things expected. Very simply, faith is expecting. Faith is expecting. If I tell you I'm coming over today at 2 o'clock to mow your lawn, if you know me to be a truthful person, you will be expecting me to show up at two o'clock. You'll have some lemonade ready. Amen. Maybe a little snack. Maybe some strawberry pie with whipped cream, squirt stuff on it. Huh? You'd be expecting me to show up. That's faith. A little boy, when he, when he gets up on Christmas morning, I'm telling you what, he's full of faith. He's full of faith. People say, well, that little guy, he's, he's, ex he's, he's expecting his Christmas presents. Well, that's faith. I'm telling you people, faith, it's just that simple. Faith is just expecting. When, when people come in here, they come to this church, they expect to get healed. When I speak over them, I expect them to be healed. Amen? 
When I agree with people in prayer, I expect an answer to that prayer. I'm telling you what. I won't settle for anything less. Somebody said to me some one time, she says, would you like to come over to our house on Tuesday evening? We're having a prayer meeting. I said, ah, I don't know. It was, I, I didn't want to say no, but that's what I meant. She says, you're not real big on prayer meetings, are you? And I said, no, no. I said, but if you need something from God, I'll get it for you. I can get you anything you want or need from God if it's covered by his promises. Amen. I do it all the time. I do it all the time. I'm not bragging, I just do. I know that when I use the name of Jesus in prayer, I'm going to get what I ask for. I just know that. I, it's just that I have faith in the name of Jesus. I use that name very sparingly, but I'm telling you what, when I do, I expect results. I expect results. Actually, what I expect is over and above, exceedingly above anything I ask her to ask. I, oh, we are, we're going through a rash in this church of people getting more than they ask for. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I just expect our prayers to be answered. God himself, God takes it upon himself to give us more than we ask for. Glory to God. But I expect to get an answer. The reason God doesn't answer all prayers is because people don't really believe it. Amen? Does God answer all prayers? The answer is no. A lot of prayers go unanswered. Sometimes people activate prayer chains. Prayer chains are real big. I'm not big on prayer chains. We do not have a prayer chain in our church. No, no prayer chain in our church. Anybody who needs anything calls me. I'm the prayer chain. Amen. With our partners. Anybody who needs it. If you're a partner with this ministry, you have my phone number. I am always ready to pray with my partners. Amen. And I do. All day long. All day long. The phone, phone many times. When, when we get done with this broadcast, by 8 o'clock this morning, the phone will begin to ring. And people will want me to bless them for the week. People will want to have needs and have, have desires and things they want for the week. We'll pray over those things and speak over those things. Huh? I went to, to a, a site yesterday where uh, one of the people in our church, a realtor, and I'm sure he's watching this right now, he, uh, he is, is going to sell out this project. He's, he's going to be the realtor for a project of 20 townhomes. He'll sell every one of those. We spoke over that yesterday. We stood right there in the model home and we, we declared he would sell every one of them. I'm telling you what, he, he's going to sell every one of those and quickly. Glory to God. Because we expect it to happen. That's just says, says God will give you the desires of your heart. God will supply all of your needs. God will heal your body. God will bless you. I'm telling you, any of this stuff is covered by God's word. We can get it for you. Now, if you want a, a battleship or something like that, I may not have the faith to pray for that. But if you need money for your rent, I can do that. Because God's word says he will supply all of our needs. If it's covered by God's word, I can believe for it, folks. Amen? That's what I, I base my faith on God's word. That's where my faith is based. If it's something other than what's in God's word, then I need to hear from God. Because faith comes by hearing. But if God says, I'm going to give uh, George Jones a battleship, go pray with him about that battleship, I'm telling you what, I'll say, George, God wants to give you a battleship. Let's pray about it. But I have to hear from God on that. Amen? But I don't need to hear from God about, about you getting healed because his word says, by the stripes of Jesus, you were healed. I don't have to hear, about, hear from God about, about you needing, 
money for your rent? Are you needing food? Are you needing a car? Because God's word already says it. If God's word already says it, then I've heard it. Then I've heard from God. When I read God's word, I'm hearing from God, believe me. Amen? My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus that covers everything you want or need. Covers it all. You need transportation? By the stripes of Jesus, you were healed. That covers that. I'm telling you, we can get those prayers answered. Amen? We can get all those prayers answered for you. Because faith in the name of Jesus, I'm telling you what, when I use the name of Jesus, I get my prayers answered. There is so much power in that name. There is power in that name to bless. There is power in that name to heal. And there is power in that name to get prayers answered. And that's what we do. We get prayers answered because of the abundance of power. I'm telling you what, the power in the name of Jesus, just, it's just, I can't even describe it to you. It's so overwhelming. And it gets prayers answered. Amen? God doesn't always answer prayers. But I'm telling you what, when there is faith involved, he will. He will answer prayer every time when there's faith involved. Without fail and without delay. The minute we pray and say amen, I'm telling you what, your answer is coming at you at the speed of light. It's coming. God is moving upon somebody to bring you what you need. He always uses people. He can use unbelievers to give you what you need. Amen. He does often. God doesn't always answer prayers. But I'm telling you what, when somebody has faith in the name of Jesus, when, you know, there, there's people, you, you notice there's always, uh, some people get more prayers answered than others. We get them answered. People come in here, I'm telling you what, we have gone through periods of time in our church where literally everybody got everything they need. You know, there was some people in here yesterday had me pray about some stuff. Next Sunday, they'll all come in with praise reports. That's how it works. You come in here one Sunday and ask for something and, and want me to pray with you about something, because we do that every Sunday. I said, who needs something from God? And I will agree with them in prayer. The following Sunday, they'll come in and tell, talk about it, how they got it. God doesn't answer all prayers, but he answers ours. Because we pray in the name of Jesus with faith in that name. Glory to God. Huh? I am always available to pray with our partners. Go to our website, increasenow.com. Help us send this message around the world. Amen. All my contact information is there. You know, oh, somebody's fussing here. Some, oh, you know, I'm not even, don't talk like that. If you do, I'll block you. We don't need those kind of comments on there. You know, God is real. And God loves us. And God answers prayers. Amen. Glory to God. Hey, go out there today. Make it a great day, a good day, a happy day, a wonderful day. If you need help with your prayer, hook up with this ministry. We'll get your prayers answered for you. I always do. Make it a great day. And remember this, God's word will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills. <laughs>